I want to tell a story. The story I want to tell is full of comedy and lots of romance. Heartbreak, longing, sighs of all dispositions. Maybe a woman named Lunette sits beside a fountain. The water is calm, say. Her mistress, Lodine, has called her here to complain. What troubles milady today? As usual, it is love. My husband, Ewain, has gone away adventuring and forgotten me, says Lodine. Lack a day. Knight errant is right. Heroic deeds thrill him more than any lover's kiss could. Perhaps this very moment he does battle with some terrible dragon. How could I compare? Lunette would like very much to roll her eyes. Maybe if you used this magic fountain to conjure forth a devastating tempest, she says. A Category 3, for instance. Then he may be more inclined to see you as comparable to a dragon, in terms of urgency. Lodine sighs. Mayhap, I guess. But I don't like thunder. It frightens the dogs. Men are like dogs, in some ways, says Lunette. For instance, in their boorishness and the way that they smell. They're quite unlike dogs in other ways, like how a dog would rather die than leave one side. Yes, says Lodine, but dogs don't cause one's heart to flutter, as a man may do. So I've heard, says Lunette. Oh, says Lodine, oh, if only I had a real lover, like Lady Assault has. I ought to invite her for tea. She looked a tad peakish at court the other day. Tristan left her, says Lunette. King Mark was beginning to suspect something. That must be it, says Lodine. Well, at least she knows he'll pine for her every minute he's gone. And she for him. Yes, yes, and he left to spare her dishonor. It's very noble, really. Oh, I. I'm sure that's a great comfort to her. Lodine sighs. What can I do, she asks. Why is it Lunette's lot to always have the answers? Doesn't she have her own troubles? Does she not pine aplenty on her own account? Stop wallowing, milady. Give him an ultimatum. Either he returns and enjoys domestic bliss forthwith, or else he's through. Life will render you a new romance, she adds, if ever you free your heart. An ultimatum, says Lodine. Why, what could go wrong? This is how the story starts. The keep is closed to Sir Ewain, and he goes mad with grief. He goes up into the woods and grows a beard. He records an album of lonesome love songs, which charts quite high for several weeks running, but still he is depressed. At last he vows to rewin his lost love's heart. So, donning clever disguises, he and his trusty lion present themselves at Arthur's court to go a-maying where he knows Lodine will be.